Hello and um, greetings from the beautiful Tampere, city of Tampere in Finland. Um, my name is Karolina Tuukkanen and I work for the city of Tampere in the Climate Environmental Policy Unit and um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our Fusili project here in Tampere and what we've done within our Living Lab actions since we last met with the whole Fusili crew in Oslo in June 2022. I thought that I would share your presentation because I think it's a nicer way to um, um, also see some pictures about what we've done and also then to get a little bit of visual aid and backup on the presentation. Um, so what have we done since this date, uh, since June um, 2022? Um, first of all, um, I wanted to show you a picture of the lovely city of Tampere. Um, obviously, this is not the current state because we are already approaching winter. So all the leaves have gone and it's not as green as it is in this picture, but you can see that it's a really pretty city. Uh, we have a lot of green. It's a very vibrant city because it's a student city and we have a lot of things going on here all the time. So um, it also means that all of these kind of projects usually get a really positive feedback because um, uh, we have active citizens in Tampere. Um, I think one of the main things that we did uh, during this period was we launched our Living Lab actions. So the Living Lab is the method for us to sort of test and try out and, and bring together different kind of stakeholders and try out and test our different actions and our different aims that we have in this project. Especially, obviously, we're looking at how to sort of change and improve and notch forward the role of cities as leaders in sustainable um, food systems. And the Living Lab is the way that we sort of test and pilot these different kind of things that we want to do within the city. And we have um, four really strong partners here in Tampere. We have Tampere University of Applied Sciences, we have Eco Fellows and we have Alman. And all of us are working in quite tight uh, cooperation together. So obviously then the launch of the Living Lab was done together as well. And we were lucky enough to be in the beautiful premises of Alman. Um, and um, it's a very sort of um, rural oasis within the city. Um, it's beautiful. They've got fields and cows and lots of different uh, lovely things going on, old buildings and so on and so forth. And actually this um, happening was part of a bigger thing that Armand organizes uh, almost on a yearly basis. And it was a whole family event and we were one of the participants in that event. They had a lot of other stuff going on as well, a lot of uh, products being sold from nearby um, farms and so on and so forth. And um, we sort of wanted to introduce the, 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 the project, but then also make sure that people have a chance to participate and, and feel and touch and talk to us as well and, and sort of feel, um, for example, compost, how it feels like and, and taste uh, jams and do stuff like that but then also to talk to us. And Tampere University of Applied Sciences was there actually to challenge and encourage visitors to um, sustainable food choices. And they have different kind of methods of doing that. And um, Eco Fellows was actually, they had a tasting of choke, chokeberry and apple jam. And it was really popular because we had 145 people um, tasting it. And chokeberry is something that actually grows all around of the urban area of Tampere and people don't really know how to utilize it, but it's a really healthy berry. So we also wanted to make sure that people know how to use it. And the idea of Eco Fellows was to talk about local and seasonal food from the city. And then we as a city, uh, we actually launched a survey together with all the participants and the survey is especially aimed at, at getting information from the citizens about what we as a city could do better to notch the sustainable uh, food system forward. And uh, we launched that survey there in that happening and, and we had iPads and people could um, sort of fill out the survey. And then we also wanted to talk to people and, and hear their opinions about what the city is doing at the moment and what we could do better in the future. And then Alman was there to introduce their bioactive composting, um, which was really interesting and actually drew in a lot of people because they had um, stuff that people could also see and look through microscopes and, and feel and, and so on and so forth. So that was a really good day. Um, we were really happy with the results. 
Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what the different uh, different um, um, uh, co-participants of the project are doing here in, in Tampere. And I'm going to start with the city of Tampere and what we've done sort of in the last couple of months um, uh, within the project. And um, I think one of the main things, especially when launching the the living lab activities and sort of launching the project in a big way as well was that we wanted to make media campaigns and also then gather information about the citizens about what we should do in their opinion and um, we sort of wanted to do different kind of information sharings about about the project um, so obviously the survey was one of them and we've sort of launched that in the uh, living lab launch but then we've also um, uh, advertised for that later on and then we had a huge media campaign in all the public trams and, trams and buses explaining our role and our aims in the project and that was something that we yet again did together as the whole all of the project participants and the trams and the buses are quite widely used so that was a really widespread media campaign um one of the main aims of the cities in this project is actually the food policy development um, so that means that we have to look at the food policies that we have as a city at the moment and then look at how we could make a coherent um, food action plan and how we could sort of enhance and make uh, the city's role stronger as an actor in a sustainable food system. And we've started this by looking at the different kind of existing policies, especially through the Sustainable Dumbra 2030 Carbon Neutral Roadmap. And um, then we thought about different kind of targets that we could um, either reach during the project or that we could set out for a longer period of time, even after the project. And thus far, we've come up with 13 targets and a variety of actions under those targets. And now we've started to talk to different kind of stakeholders within the living lab groups. So private sector, um, public sector, um, academia, and then obviously citizens. And we've had and will have some co-creation workshops um, for these stakeholders to further develop the plan and these targets and everything can be changed at this point. And then obviously the survey will um, be used as a, gather a knowledge gathering tool as well. Then we've had different kind of events and, and many of these we've done together with the other project partners, but some of them have been just city events as well. We've had some lovely talk shows and panel discussions in Tampere, which is an event hall um, in the city of Tampere, in the in the center of Tampere. And we actually had this amazing mushroom and wild herb herb gathering trip in nature in the form. Um, and the picture with the lake in the background is actually from there. And we had this happening for children. We had this movie character called Super Marsu, Super Guinea, Guinea Pig. And um, this happening was about um, the natural habitat and, and about pollinators and stuff like that. And we were there as well to introduce the project to both the parents and the children. And then we've had a variety of different kind of workshops for NGOs, for citizens. We've had some interactions with companies. And this is something that we've done together with all the project partners as well. And then one thing that's really important for the city, especially because we have a lot of renovations and new things coming on in the social and health department, um, but the role of, of, of health and, and well-being is something that is going to be even stronger within the city in the future with all this new legislation going on. And we started a food education concept pilot with the family work of the city of Tampere. And we chose vulnerable families that would receive food boxes containing one week's worth of food supplies for healthy vegetarian meals. And it also includes recipes and videos on how to prepare that food. And the aim of this is to teach families how to make healthy and sustainable food in a cost effective way and especially vegetarian meals. So this is part of or part of that sort of well-being and health aspect of the project as well. And then one thing we also want to look inside ourselves because there's a lot that can be developed within the city as well and we've started uh, planning sustainable catering instructions for the city events and uh, we'll continue with these and get them connect, commented by the city workers as well and make sure that they're as, as, as good as possible. So we also want to look within the city and see what we could do better as, a, as an actor in the food system. Now then Eco Fellows, they've done a lot uh, since June as well. It's been quite a busy, busy summer for us. Um, they actually had this really interesting vegetable garden dream workshop um, 
where they were together with uh, Tenants Council, which is a council. We have these Tenants Councils in Finland for different um, like bigger buildings. And they organized two Vegetable Garden of Dreams workshops. And these workshops was especially uh, organized with student houses in Lukomäki, which is an area in Tampere. And TOAS is a student housing uh, organization. And these workshops were inspired by permacultural design and they had different kind of talk topics. They were talking about designing of the plots and how to make permanent beds and crop rotation and, and what to grow and, and how to use mulches and covers and, and how to feed the soil as well. So these were really hands on workshops organized to students. And then they also had um, sort of um, uh, sustainable food choices, um, lunch by the lake, uh, and they offered a free lunch which, for children. And then also children with their parents were invited to play this a game that was made in the Fusilli project by the students of the Tampere University of Applied Sciences called Pol Poland Food Express. And this game sort of familiarizes players with sustainable food choices, and it can actually be uh, downloaded from Google Play Store quite easily. So this was very interesting. Um, then they also had this um, uh, planetary diet test day for adults, for workers in Sandvik Canteen. And Sandvik is a huge company operating from Tampere, but also internationally. And they have 1,500 employees in the, in the facility that they have in Tampere. And they have their own canteen, and many of the workers actually eat there daily. And the test day for planetary diet um, was um, sort of done together with the canteen of the Sandvik factory. And it was to introduce the idea of planetary diet for the factory workers. And it's important to understand that 90% of the workers are male. There's quite a lot of blue color, obviously white color as well. And vegetarian food might not be a part of their everyday menu. So there was a lot of new things going on as well. And the menu focused on plant-based meals and say sustainable fish harvested from Finnish lakes. And they also had discussions about planetary diets and they could actually play one of the other games also created in the Fossili project called Food and Mint. And then one other thing that they've managed to do um, in this quite short period of time is actually um, have a school gardening concept development workshop. And they worked together with pupils and teachers of two school classes in Johannuskula, which is an area in Tampere again. It's the primary school and they've developed a model for their school gardening. So this has been really interesting and hopefully we, we get to sort of see the implementation of these gardens in the future as well. Now, what about Alman? They've been very active as well and they've also um, been working with schools as well. Um, and um, they've had these household groups from primary schools, quite a few of them that have been introduced to permanent bedding garden and then composting as well. And then they've also had the opportunity to cook local food, food in the Alman Edo teaching kitchen. And um, they've had, had quite a few um, different groups of these ho household um, teaching groups uh, to come to the premises of the Alman. And then they've also been concentrating on bioactive composting and developing that method and then looking at soil full web. And um, they've had different kind of uh, workshops and events for city res residents. And um, they've organized these in cooperation with various different stakeholders. So quite a few workshops about the, the theme of bioactive composting and soil food web in their premises. And you can see a couple of lovely pictures of that as well. And then Tampere University of Applied Sciences. So um, the catering studio is one of the main um, sort of places where, where things are happening within the Fusilli project in the Tampere University of Applied Sciences um, realm. And um, the catering studio development team is actually in action and they meet monthly. And two of the Tam Fusilli members are actually in this team. And the main task is to foster the aim of TAMP, a TAMP CS Living Lab and food and sustainability, and then also to be a link between the degree program in hospitality management and its new curriculum. So make sure that everything is playing together. Um, then um, 
uh, Sanna Luoto, who is a teacher at Tampere University of Applied Sciences and also in the facility team. She presented her paper in progress about food living labs in the open living lab days in Turin. And this is obviously a really important part of the academic work that TAMC is doing in the project. And then they've had pop-ups. The pop-up number two was actually the hospitality management students in cooperation with Fusilli implemented this planetary dinner menu in Tamk catering studio. And this was for the university's principal council in Finland. It was a sustainability and responsibility seminar that was held just a few weeks back, actually. And uh, as you can see in the picture, it was quite a delicious um, evening menu. And this event was also a part of sustainable university campus development. So they've been testing out different kind of recipes and stuff like that. And then they also um, did this catering studio circularity audit, which was implemented by Kenyan master's degree program exchange students, and it was commissioned by Fusilli. And this group analyzed the current circularity status of the BAMC CS. So that was basically what we've done. We've kept ourselves quite busy and um, we hope to uh, be as busy in the future as well and talk to you soon and see you soon and greetings um, from the Tampere, city of Tampere living lab. Bye.